Well, I'm getting the dog tired so I can go fishing. Don't mind the grass. The cold front here in Texas killed all the grass and turned it brown. It looks like crap, I know. But when springtime comes, it's gonna be green. So getting Athena nice and tired so I can go fish to catch some bass. So we are here at a local pond. The weather has finally warmed up a little bit, so hopefully I can catch my first bass of 2018. I got these two jigs and a Ned rig rigged up. All right, so I have a green pumpkin Ned rig. So let me see if I can catch a bite on that. We had a cold front not too long ago. Got in the freezing temperatures for like for like almost a week so I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish for 2018 just gonna do a slow slow retrieve we had that cold front so pretty sure the bass aren't that you know active um, it's probably some brush underneath there but I'm pretty sure the bass aren't that active as far as the feeding frenzy I'm pretty sure they're just trying to go real slow so that's what is that's what I am trying to do just go slow give the bass some time to look at it to think about hitting it because this cold front if these bass are like me here in Texas that they didn't enjoy it so I'm pretty sure they're taking it easy right now catch anything on the net rig so I'm gonna throw a jig blue black uh, jig head with a what is it uh, yum no a, a net bait uh, trailer watermelon red flake I usually like to offset it black and blue you know jig you know green pumpkin or uh, green pumpkin jig head with a black and blue trailer I don't know why I've, I've just always done that I honestly can't tell you why I do it. To me, I'm still learning jig, uh, jig fishing, but to me, that's, I've had better uh, success with doing, you know, you know, offset trailer color and jig head. But you guys should give it a try. I mean, I could be wrong, but for at least for me, it, it's been working. So hopefully, I catch a fish on this. I wasn't catching anything on that Ned rig. On that watermelon who knows I haven't caught a fish in this pond so who knows if there's even fish in here and it'd be nice to catch at least one There we go, fish on. That's a nice healthy fish right there on a jig. Hell yeah. First fish of the day. That's a nice one. It's, it's a fat fish with a small mouth. Damn. You guys gotta look how small that mouth is compared to this fish. I don't know what it's been eating on that black and blue booyah jig with that watermelon uh, net crawl i think it's net crawl trailer right on the roof of its mouth here we are look how small that mouth is look how small that mouth compared to this bass that is tiny it's been feeding nice look at that belly with that small mouth that's crazy i for the size of this bass that is a small mouth that is nuts but yep, cut them on the black and blue jig. 
Let's get him back into the water. See you later, girl. So that is my first jig fish on this pond. That's actually my first fish in this pond. So now I'm a believer that there's actual bass in here, but uh, that was a nice one. That was easily, easily over two pounds. So I'm gonna keep going at it. Maybe they're under this tree right here. So I'm gonna keep at it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep trying to get under this tree right here. It didn't hit it that far away from the bank, maybe about five, 10 feet. Maybe, you know, I would say probably more like six to eight feet, the farthest away that that bass, that, that, bis, that bass actually got that bait. So hopefully I found where they're at underneath this tree. So I'm gonna keep trying to see if I can get at it. Maybe even throw more of a nest so I can even get some, you know, some more strikes on you know on some bass that are hesitant to, to hit on it but that was that was definitely a nice bass right there a nice one easily two pounds You want to keep watching that line, especially when you're fishing bottom baits, because you don't know if you're like stuck on a stump or some weeds, some logs or something like that until you see that actual line moving. So you want to keep an eye on that line to see if it goes, you know, from left to right. Because that's how you know you have a bass. Because Sometimes you won't even feel like there's been times where I've caught a bass on the bottom and it just feels like it's like I'm stuck on a log but it's, a, it's an actual bass so you want to make sure that you keep an eye on that line just to make sure that it's not moving you know something that you're not you know controlling it so just that that's, that's just a tip when you're fishing jigs All right, so I want to wick this, uh, rig this wacky worm style. So I got this Gary Yamamoto that I've never used before. So let's see how it does. But I got this wacky uh, worm tool. All I got to do is put it right there. And I'm doing this because I don't want to rip these Yamamotos, you know, easily. As you guys know, Yamamotos are pretty expensive. Uh, I always pretty much used Yum. But uh, these Yamamotos were on sale, so I had to pick some up. So... I want to do like kind of like an X pattern so I can try to get the the hook in between the Senko and these O-rings so that they don't rip as easily. Say I do catch a fish, I don't want them to rip so easily that I'm just, you know, constantly always having to buy more worms. But uh So I want to go in between that. So I got this, you know, wheelless guard. So I want to try, I'm going to try. I don't know if I can, but I want to try to get in between the o-ring and the senko because i want to try to save some money so we're underneath that one and i want to try to get underneath here so try to do it and there we go so i got it right there 
So in case I catch a fish, hopefully these O-rings keep it from ripping apart so easily. So if you guys are trying to save some extra money, because as you guys know, I'm more of a budget fisherman. I don't got a bow. I don't. I just kind of do this as a hobby, just like most of you guys. So <clears throat> I'm trying to save money. That's the only reason why I bought these Yamamoto's is that they were on sale. So I'm going to rig this up and next time you guys will see me throwing this in. All right, so I am tied on with this wacky, wacky rigged. I don't know why I can't talk, but I got this wacky rig. Yamagiri Yamamoto red and uh, black uh, flake watermelon color on this uh, weighted, slightly weighted um, wheelless guard hook. So hopefully we can catch some, some bass on this. Hey there YouTube, well today all I caught was one bass. Um, sorry for all the noise, I got Athena playing around, as you can see. She don't care if I'm recording or not. But uh, all I caught was one bass on a black and blue jig by Booya with a net craw watermelon red flake. So that was, I guess, the ticket. It was only one bass, but... Um, if you guys can see on my past videos, the Booyah jigs, they are amazing to me. Uh, I barely started getting to jig fishing like in a year. Uh oh. What's wrong? Sorry, she's teething, so her teeth are gonna fall out. So I go with the Booyah jigs. They're really, really cheap. Um, they stand, you know, they, they hold up. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the hooks or the the, the jigs, nothing, the jig heads or anything like that. Uh, they even come with rattles, which is even better because you can always take them off and take them on. So that's even better. They have rattles, so I like to use the Booyah jigs. They're they're super cheap. They're like 2 or $3, so they're e that's even better. But um, that's all I caught today was on the jig. I, they weren't catching I wasn't catching them on the wacky rigs. Uh, Senko, I wasn't catching them on a net rig. I tried to throw a chatterbait. I wasn't catching them on that. But... Uh, but at least I caught one. That was my first bass of 2018. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, I got my social media. I got everything linked down below. Sorry for all she wants to play. But uh, I'm going to link everything down below. I got my Twitch, my uh, Twitter, my Patreon, my Instagram. I have all that. So, I got to go. Athena wants to play. So, I'll see you guys next time.